Hey YouTube, I'm Mars1952 and recently I installed a water methanol injection kit on my Ford F350 with a 7.3 liter diesel. It gave me a huge boost in power. It's been a lot of fun and it's made towing trailers a lot easier for me. I have a really heavy 15,000 pound trailer I've been towing. But you have to feed it. You need water and methanol. The water's not a problem. I get that from my air conditioner and dehumidifier for free. But the methanol uh, you have to buy it. There's no way around it. You can try to make it, but that's really hard. So the first thing I did, according to a lot of stuff I read online, just buy windshield washer fluid and put that in. According to the MSDS, this is 30 to 36 percent methanol. I didn't get a chance to actually test it. Um, so, but if this let's say it's on the high side, it's 36 percent methanol. Uh, this costs two dollars at Advanced Auto Parts. That means that the methanol in here costs five dollars and fifty-five cents. Um, a lot of other people said use SuperTech from Walmart. That's the best. I heard people claim that they read the MSDS sheet and it said that SuperTech is forty percent methanol. That is not true. I read the MSDS sheet and it says thirty percent methanol. I took six jugs of this and weighed them on a sensitive scale. Took the average, weighed the empty jugs, took the average of that and using a mathematical formula that I'll put over here, it came out to 24% methanol, which is sort of a ripoff. That's not really even enough to keep it from freezing at minus 20. I think you need somewhere between 25 and 30% just to hit minus 20. Uh, so anyway, this costs $1.80. If you calculate that there's only 25% or 24% methanol in there, that means this actually costs seven twenty a gallon for the methanol. Now, whatever type of windshield washer fluid or water you use, most people want to increase that percentage of methanol up to 50%. It's recommended you don't go over that because it's a fire hazard, yada yada. You can burn up your valves, burn the tops of your pistons, make things too hot, essentially. And you can overfuel your engine and just waste in the methanol. Um, so anyway, a lot of people say, buy a can of heat, add it to your windshield washer fluid. I had actually people post online that all you have to do is buy a uh, tw minus 20 windshield washer fluid, add a can of heat to it, and you're up to 50%. In reality, since this is only 24% methanol, this is 12 ounces of heat, to get this up to 50% methanol by weight, you have to add six cans of heat. And that gets pretty expensive. But the heat, the best price on that that I found is at Walmart, four, four bottles for... I can't remember what the grand total is. It worked out to $1.60 a bottle. So $1.60 a bottle for 12 ounces, that means this is $16.80 a gallon. Pretty expensive, even more than windshield washer fluid. Um, another source for water methanol is this, whoever manufactures your system, where it be Snow Performance like this one or Devil's Own or the other brands out there, they all sell some version of what Snow Performance calls Go Juice. And Go Juice is 49% methanol. 51% water. They keep it at 49% for um, hazardous transportation reasons. It keeps the shipping costs down, which are still high because it's heavy. But anyway, go juice costs 20 bucks a gallon when you consider it only has 50% methanol, actually 49. It's actually $40 a gallon for go juice, which is really high. You know, they give you a, a break on the guarantee if you use go juice forever on this snow performance system. So your system is guaranteed for life. But I tell you, it doesn't take long to use up $700 worth of methanol when you're buying it at $40 a gallon. Uh, with my 15,000 pound trailer on here, I drove 50 miles and used more than two gallons of 50% methanol water. Uh, that's just in 50 miles. Now, if I'm driving empty, if this is a Tomac system, it doesn't use much methanol water when I'm driving empty because the boost never gets up very high. Uh, it has to get up above 7 PSI boost before anything happens, and typically I never exceed 5 pounds of boost driving around town. Um, got a heavy foot, you'll use more. So, 16.80 a gallon. Go juice $40 a gallon. This is pure methanol, 99% or 99 point something percent. I bought it from a local chemical supply place by a 55 gallon drum, the steel drum, which will help with loss of evaporation or limit, limit loss by evaporation. That costs four dollars and ninety cents a gallon, times fifty-five. Of course, I'll use it all. Uh, speaking of evaporation, 
this gas line antifreeze, nothing all. It, it wants to get out into the atmosphere. Plastic is not a perfect seal, and uh, methanol will leak right through it eventually. This has a permeability of something, I don't know what it is. It's sort of thick. Uh, I think polyethylene, one mil of polyethylene is a permeability of one. This feels like it's more like eight or nine mils. But, but anyway, I had some of this in off-brand that I got on sale. I've had it for at least five years, maybe 10. I thought, great, I can finally use that stuff. It used to be this full. It was down to there. Almost all of it had evaporated through the bottle. So if you have methanol, you probably shouldn't buy more than you can use in a reasonable amount of time. I don't have anybody else I knew that used methanol or other would have split this 55 gallon barrel with them just because it's better to use fresh methanol. Anytime you open the barrel or the jug, uh, this, these, one of the reasons this uh, Supertech might have been only 24% is it was old stock. They don't carry the minus 20 in the summer. They switch over to the, to the stuff with no methanol in it. Get sell it to you for the same price. Uh, so the methanol leaks out. So that it probably might have started out at 30%, but a lot of the methanol is gone by now. So anyway, use your windshield washers. Don't you don't stockpile it because you're just going to waste methanol. Uh, I sort of lost track of what I'm doing here. So let's recap here. We got the peak, which I, if I get a chance to weigh some of this and test it, I'll post the numbers here. But um, Assuming this is 36% methanol, that makes this the methanol $5.50 a gallon, $5.55. Supertech, who was only 25%, that makes it $7.20 a gallon. Heat, $16.80 a gallon. Go juice, $40 a gallon. Straight methanol, $4.90 a gallon. So it's pretty easy for me to decide to buy a barrel. Methanol is extremely hydroscopic. It will suck water out of the air. That's why it's important to keep your jugs closed. Um, it'll suck it through the, through the uh, plastic bottles as well. So what's left in your bottle, not only does the methanol leak out, water gets sucked in just because nature wants to equalize everything. So if you have a metal drum, every time you open that, air is exchanged and the water that's in the air gets sucked into the methanol. And it will keep doing that until just as much water as it can hold is in there. So, that's all.